everyone. Ryan Wilk with Ready Newman PC. Within the universe of employment-based green cards, there's five preference-based categories. So that's EB1, EB2, EB3, 4, and 5. Uh, the highest preference category is EB1, and those are for individuals with extraordinary ability, certain types of professors and researchers, as well as multinational managers and executives. And so for EB1A, that's for individuals of extraordinary ability. This is the cream of the crop. Um, you're needing to show demonstrated national or international success in the art, science, business, athletics. And you're going to have to typically show a receipt of, of a high level award. So it's not just, hey, I'm a great person. Other people need to look at you and say, okay, you are extraordinary. Cascading down to EB1. B, uh, these are for professors and researchers. Uh, typically, you need to be teaching the profession for a certain number of years, as well as have an offer from a research institution or a university. And then lastly, we're talking about EB1Cs. These are from multinational managers and executives. Typically, you need to be working for this foreign entity for one year within the three years preceding the filing. And so if you are, you are abroad doing some sort of managerial or uh, executive role for a foreign company, Within the last three years, that company can likely sponsor you for an EB1C multinational manager executive green card. Um, for more information, please subscribe to our newsletter as well as our YouTube channel. Thanks and we'll see you again soon.